my kindergarten artists. Are you ready for some awesome art making today? Today we are going to learn all about sculptures. And what a sculpture is, it's a 3D object. So let me explain. So far this year we've done drawings and paintings and they've all been on paper, which is a very flat surface. Okay, see how flat it is. A sculpture is something that you build or sculpt or make big. So like my bowl was made from clay. We call this ceramics and this is something that we will eventually, hopefully, learn how to do in the future. Okay, so today we're going to focus on sculpture and then we are going to learn how to make our own sculptures at home. All right, let's go learn more. Hi, I'm Murray from Sesame Street, and I'm looking for the word on the street. What's the word on the street? Sculpture. What is a sculpture? It's a type of art. It's a piece of art that you see. It could be made out of metal or rock. How would you make it into a sculpture? Carve it. Build a sculpture with a hammer and nails. And you can like put it together into anything you want. Keep listening for the word sculpture today on Sesame Street. Sculpture. That's the word on the street. <sighs> Sculptures have been around for as long as people have been making art. We might see sculptures about famous people or times in history, or maybe a mysterious story from an ancient land. Sculptures can be made from anything, including snow sculptures, ice sculptures, sand sculptures at the beach. One artist even made one under the water. Sculptures can be found on the side of buildings. Sculptures can even be made from flowers. Let's collect some balloons and build a balloon sculpture. Or maybe a huge sculpture that looks like a balloon but is made from metal. Here's Mr. Hazelton posing in front of a giant sculpture made from Legos. Think about the places where you might have seen a sculpture. All right, now it's time to learn the basics of how to build with paper. So for this project, you're going to need paper. You're gonna need one big piece for the base of your sculpture, which is what you build on. Then you're gonna cut some smaller strips with scissors, and you're gonna need some glue to stick everything together. All right, first cut your paper into many different strips. They can be straight or zigzag. Next, take the edge of your strip and fold it down to make a tab. This will help show you where to put the glue, as well help your paper stand up tall. Now it's time to glue. We're going to put a little dot of glue onto each of the tabs. Remember, dot dot not a lot. This is the trickiest part of the whole process. We're going to now have to put it to the paper and hold it for 10 seconds. Let's count together. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's see if it's stuck. Lift it up a little bit and see if the two papers held together. If it did, now you can go on and add more and build your sculpture even bigger. What are some other things that I can do to my paper? I can fold it back and forth to make zigzag strips. I can wrap it around a pencil to make it curl. I can cut little tiny pieces to make a fringe like a feather. I can loop it around, make a circle or a tube. I can make it into different shapes by first making a tube and then folding the corners to make a triangle, square, or rectangle. If I glue down one side, I can twist it to make a loop-de-loop. -loop. This reminds me of a roller coaster ride. So now that you know how to build with paper, you are going to continue on and build your own paper sculpture. So I wanted to show you my example of all the awesomeness that I did. So I have made some paper shapes. And I got some fringe that looks kind of neat, almost like the ocean. I've got some stairs that I did by folding the paper. And even some bumps or loop-de-loops, however you want to call it. 
Okay, so there's so many awesome things that you can do with paper. If you get stuck, don't forget that you can go back and rewind um, and watch my video. Um, you can even use markers and crayons to decorate some of your paper before you start building with it. So there's so much you can do with this project, okay? So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Make sure you take a really awesome picture and then upload it into the Google Classroom. Those extra scraps, don't throw them away because in a couple weeks we're going to learn how to do some weaving using paper. So these are going to be great to use, okay? So have an awesome time doing it. Have fun and... I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right. Bye, guys.